Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at a couple of things that I use to manage my batteries uh, for the wireless triggers, the speed lights and of course uh, the cameras as well. Okay, um, these are the things that I use to manage the batteries um, in my main bag. I've recently moved to a roller bag by Think Tank. Um, great bag, holds a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, it currently holds two bodies um, with grips, five lights, triggers, um, five lenses as well as a few other bits and bobs. So when it comes to like keeping everything together and maximizing the amount of space that you've got, um, getting the right kind of containers for the batteries or cases or whatever um, can help with that really. Um, first thing I'm going to look at here just quickly is the Think Tank um, battery case. Now this is for the Canon LPE6 batteries and both the cameras that I shoot with um, use this battery um, so that's good. Um, you can get other sizes as well and of course this will take smaller batteries than the, excuse the Velcro, than the LPE6. Um, I do need to get another one of these actually so I've got two other batteries recently so I've got two in each camera this spare set and a second spare set as well um, that I need to get a case for. I keep these yellow covers on them generally and it's think tank so it's really well made okay and it just stops the batteries rattling around stops the those yellow caps from coming off and then you've got contacts on the batteries which are there potentially going to touch something um, so I prefer keeping them in something like that so we'll move that out to the side and we'll have a look at these things now these things are by a company called PowerX or Power Packs even sorry PowerX make the batteries don't they um, and I absolutely love them they're great you can get them in yellow, black, um, glow in the dark if you wish, although eh, maybe you'd want to do that if you work in a lot of dark clubs or dark environments, that's kind of cool. Um, or I went for the orange ones which are pretty easy to see in the bags anyway. Um, I use Eneloops, I use AAA Eneloops for my triggers, the Feltix triggers and AA Eneloops of course for the speed lights. Um, so you can get um, sets of eight, um, sorry six, um, for the triple A's in there and the way I use these things is I will use a set of batteries, I mean, my triggers use two at a time so I'll use these set of batteries to the point where they give up and then when they go back in one of these cases I've got two of these and two of those will go in upside down so I know that they need charging so any battery that's dead it goes in positive down first if it's good to go then I have them positive up okay there we go now also notice as well I've got my sets of batteries numbered, um, all of them, so if I get one bad cell in one group or one set, I'll get rid of the whole set and replace them all, because um, chances are the others won't be too far behind. And I do the same pretty much with the, that's going to fall over, um, with the um, double A's for the speed lights as well, and it just keeps everything nice and neat. Uh, granted, okay, the contacts can be opened at the top there. Um, but it's only one side really and I've never really had an issue of them being bridged or anything uh, when they've been in the bag even when you stack these on top of each other um, so it's a, a non-issue really there um, again using end loops because um, they're a good battery I'm um, really happy with them they'll last a while and they, they'll stay charged in the bag and the same system as well once it's dead um, it goes in upside down and it's nice and easy um, to change the batteries in them. Um, also as well I like these things because the batteries are secure they're not going to easily fall out. Okay there are probably other things that you can get I mean if you look at the uh, seven day shot batteries that you get you get those plastic cases which kind of open and they're okay you know they work but I think the, the last the catches on them end up failing eventually um, so I've moved to these and they've been uh, really good at keeping the batteries nice and tidy. Um, the only downside of having that many lights in with batteries in and spares is it adds to the weight of the bag but with it being rolled on the floor I don't suppose it's too bad okay so just a quick look at what I use to manage the batteries um, in my main bag uh, camera trigger and flash batteries uh, any questions stick them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video